Here's how to make a $50,000 game, meaning how to make a game that generates $50,000. We've got a bunch of nice metrics that we can actually reverse engineer in order to figure out how to reach our final goal. So the first metric is price point, and the general consensus is that indie devs charge way too little for their games. For the most part, unless you make a game in like one or two months, for the most part you should probably choose between $10 and $15. So for this example, let's say we've got a $15 game. Then how many wishlists do we need to get in order to make sure that our game makes 50k in the end? In order to make this amount of money, you need to have a decently successful launch. And to have a decently successful launch, you need to have at least around 7 to 10,000 wishlists. And then with those number of wishlists, usually the conversion rate of wishlists to sales copies on week one, usually that is around 15 to 20%. So if you launch with 7,000 wishlists, chances are you're going to sell about 1,100 copies on week one. And doing that at a $15 price point is going to generate around $16,000 in gross revenue. And then the general multiplier of week one to year one sales is around three, meaning on the first year you are going to make around three times as much as you make on week one. So if you sell a thousand copies on week one, chances are in total on the first year you're going to sell over 3,000 copies, which is going to generate $50,000 in gross revenue. Obviously, this is just a guesstimate, it is not a guarantee, but in general, if you make a $15 game and if you manage to get 7,000 wish lists before release, chances are that is going to convert into a thousand sales on week one, which in turn is likely going to convert into 3,300 sales on year one which in total means it will generate $50,000 in gross revenue.